guys, as I was editing my video a few days ago on my battle of my high-end powders, I don't know why, but I did not do an intro. So this is going to be my intro for the battle of the uh, high-end powders video. I decided I'm going to do it. I want to do a new series on my channel where I battle battle any beauty products such as powders, foundations, concealers, bronzers, eyeshadow palettes, really anything. This is not the look that I created using the powders, but I'm just going to be talking about them. Instead of my face, I use the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I really like this one. I love the sifter. I love it so much. It's so good and hydrating. There's 50% water and glycerin. It is absolutely crazy. It is so good. And then the powder I battled off was the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder, and I loved this so much. I got the little travel size. I just want to do something a little bit different on my channel and if you have any suggestions on any videos about battling any high-end products just let me know it down below. If I'm stopping by hi welcome make sure to subscribe down below make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so I know I like these kinds of videos and without further ado let's get right into the video. my foundation on and now I'm going to be applying concealer. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer on my under eyes today. My under eyes are concealed. I'm actually going to be starting this side. So this side is going to be the Becca Hydra Mist powder and then this side is going to, this, this side is going to be the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. To be reading the claims on the Becca Hydra Mist powder. So it's an ultra translucent setting powder that sets makeup for extended wear with a re re revitalizing mist-like effect on skin. This weightless powder sets and refreshes makeup for a silky, smooth, invisible finish. It's formulated with 50% of water. What? And glycerin. This powder creates a mist-like sensation on skin for a seamless finish and comfortable feel. So let's give this a whirl. I'm going to be using this brush. This is actually an e.l.f. blush brush. And actually what I like about this is the sifter. Look how nice it is. So nice. Okay, just tap off the excess. Just put it right into the eyes. Feels very cooling under the eyes. It feels really nice. Especially for my dry sensitive skin, which you guys know. I'm just gonna put it on like this side of my face, so. I usually, again, like I've said in my recent videos, I don't like to set my face with powder because you know I have dry skin but I'm gonna do this for this video for you guys I'm just setting my whole entire left my left your right side of my face with powder okay well the, for the start of the show is the hourglass veil translucent powder it looks like this it's really nice I got the travel size which that was only $19 that was $19 which was very expensive <laughs> so the Hourglass Cosmetics Veil Translucent Powder is an ultra-refined mini powder formulated with light reflecting particles to blur imperfections. It, this powder blurs the appearance of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles for an airbrush finish without parabens. It uses diamond powder for the most refined light refraction without any flashback, without any flashback, and sets makeup for a very long wear. So let's see if this claims to be it. I'm so excited. This side of my face, I'm gonna be using the hourglass, but I'm actually gonna be using my beauty sponge by Morphe, like that much, and then just place it right under my eyes. Look at it on the other side, I'm gonna be setting everything else on the other side of my face. I'm shook. This literally just blurred out everything. It's so smooth, blurred out literally all my pores, like literally all my pores. Like this side, it is smooth, but this side is just so much more prettier. So I got really close with you guys. This side is the Becca Hydra Mist, and then this side is the Hourglass. And the Hourglass just looks so pretty and blurred out. Like my pores look blurred, blurred literally all my imperfections. And this side is really nice because I actually love the hydrated effect of it because it has 50% glycerin and water. That is crazy. I'm going to be finishing up the rest of my face and I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. It's currently 11.37 right now. I've been, I've had this on for a good hour, I would say. And 
The powders are really doing good right now. Okay, I can tell a difference right now. So I feel this part, this side, the hourglass side, so smooth. This side's a little rough. And I feel like it's just because, like, the hydromist powder, because it was, you know, like, so hydrating. And, like, I'm really loving the hourglass side already. And I'm, like, really happy. And I actually did take a picture. And with flash, there's literally no flashback. I will put the picture right here so you guys can see it. I really like it so far. And I actually have work at 1.30. And I will check in with you guys before I go to work. And I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey, guys. It's around 12.45 right now. I'm just getting ready to go to work. And the powders are really doing good. The hourglass one is doing really good so far. Okay, so I, I you know, I've been, I have really dry under eyes. And I'm still creasing. But I think it's just like my under eyes are the concealer and I know it's not the powder. But it is looking really good so far. I really have no bad complaints so far. Like they're both really nice. I really like how the Hydra Mist is like very nice and hydrating. And I mean it is smooth. I really like the hourglass side though too right now. So they're doing both really good so far. I will do a few more check-ins later tonight when I come home from work. So I will catch up with you guys in a little while. Hi guys, this is my final check-in. It is currently 6.52 right now. These powders have been on for a good eight hours and let's see how they're looking. Okay, so I have very dry under eyes and literally all the concealers are literally like off my under eyes and it is creasing like crazy. And I know that's not the powder's fault. It's just my dry under eyes. It's just my dry under eyes, but I am actually... So again, this side is the Becca Hydra Mist and it does feel very, like look at that glow, like it's so nice and hydrated and I mean it does like, it feels nice and smooth and then this side is the Hourglass. I just love this side so much more because it's so much more smooth. I feel it's like it blurs out my pores so much more, it blurs out all my imperfections. So the battle between the Becca Hydromus Set and Refresh Powder and the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. And the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder is the winner. I'm so happy and I'm so happy. I really like this powder. It blurs your imperfections so nicely. It is actually such a good powder. It doesn't have any flashback. It gets really nicely on the skin, literally for any skin type, even for me with my dry sensitive skin. If you want more videos like this, more battle videos, make sure you comment down below any other suggestions, any beauty products or anything. Just let me know down below would you like this video if you like this video give me a big thumbs up so i know you like these kinds of videos that i do film if this is your first time here before you leave this video make sure you subscribe down below to be part of the family and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys